I'm going to have to kind of sit in, come in the house and out of the house. It's a little chilly for me. I like it warmer. Kami, yeah, I like it a lot warmer. I prefer the summers. I don't have to have it blistering heat, but if it is, I'd rather have that over the cold. Whoops. Uh, now, I don't, I don't smoke exotics or the high ends. I don't smoke the low ends either. But I'm giving this Rocky a try. I think I've had it before. It's on the title. And uh, I was going to have some Indian food today, but instead I had some Middle Eastern. Just logistics. And I just got through taking my MMS with some grape, some pure grape juice mm, within 15 minutes ago. This is in, uh, this is tight. I'm almost afraid to pull this on there, off of here. But it's so tight, I don't want to rip the cigar leaf. It's on there. Uh, there we go. There we go. And uh, I'm sure the video will take as I kind of hinted into an earlier video that I got through saving on the trying to make videos and they just haven't been coming out that is when I talk about religion or politics or the world system the beast system Boy, that barbecue smells good it's a legal quote to barbecue but I'm not gonna report it yeah why would it be illegal to barbecue on your own porch? Huh? Anyway. We bow down to them. We serve them as gods when we follow their laws and rules. Even when we know that they're dumb, stupid, and ignorant laws and rules and go against the truth but just conform and get along round up posse up <clears throat> nice tobacco burn Not my favorite stick to necessarily chew all day long. Plus, I'm also picking up a hints of aroma of, of, of camphor. I put some camphor on me earlier, and I can still smell that, so it's interrupting with the smell. But a good tobacco smell. Good tobacco taste. Tobacco burn. Very smooth draw. Very easy draw. See that? It's cold over here. Not too cold, but 
warmer than yesterday. I like it warm. Well, I'm gonna. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I usually make my own salsa, but things have been so expensive. I just decided to go ahead and buy some earlier today instead of making it. So I can't make salsa unless I make a half a gallon to a gallon, sometimes three gallons. I mean, by the time I get through adding everything together, I've got enough to make a, like I said, about a half gallon to gallon, somewhere in that range. Sometimes I go overboard and get three gallons worth, So and it spoils within a few hours to a day. You can make it stretch a couple of days if you know what to do, but I make great salsa. Phenomenal salsa. Um, I got some Chipotle salsa. I think I'm going to smoke this cigar and either somewhere midway down or at the end of the cigar, maybe at the beginning of another cigar. Uh, I ate earlier. I'm pretty full, but that chicken and it smells like brisket. Oh, I don't know if you can see it's floating by the smoke. That smells good. My neighbor next door cooking on a uh, barbecue pit. Anyway, makes me want to pull out the salsa chips and go to town. I don't normally eat chips very often, but I got a hankering for some today. I might, depending on how this cigar goes, I might eat it with this or have another cigar. Because sometimes spicy foods go good with a cigar for my palate anyway. I know it's a bunch of ramble, but you don't have to watch. Oh, I was going to say, you've been smoking in the house? Well, Technically, I'm only half in the house. <laughs> uh, just joking. Actually, I'm sitting outside with my feet in the house. Depending on how you define the term touchdown, I guess. This brings back some memories on some cigars that they used to be like. It, it, they can't hit. They can't hit the same note. It's just like when uh, they come out with a new movie, Batman or whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's not the same as the comics. Uh, it, say for instance, they came out with a new Flash Gordon. I'm sure it's not going to be the same. It'd be an imitation. People might think it's cool. But for those that know what it's like, it's just not the same. Some spice, leather, light leather, some kind of, um, don't know that flavor. Maybe it's, I don't know, I don't want to name the wrong nut. It's got a couple of nutty flavors to it. I'm bad with names like that. My tongue is going numb. Which, I'm almost out of time, but I'll say something last, last night. Don't want to gross anybody out, but it happened. Pour a drink. Drank most of the drink, set the glass down, went outside to do something, came back inside, the lights were off, I was fixing to climb in bed, I downed the drink, and ugh, something was in there, spit it out, roach.
He was dead. Almost crashed him down. But. It's almost having a numbing effect on my palate. My tongue and the roof of my mouth. It's almost like it's kind of numbed.